Have you ever let your girlfriend use your phone only for her to accidentally stumble upon your midget porn collection? Have you ever proclaimed your love for someone in the middle of biology class and subjugated all of your peers to secondhand embarrassment? Have you ever had to explain the muscles that control your poop? Welcome to the painful world that is cringeful dating stories. Well, hang on to your man tits, we're going out with a banger. Alright, so first off, this one happened about two years ago. We were at my girlfriend's birthday party, and so we went to a uh, water park to celebrate her birthday and all that good jazz. So roughly the week prior, I was uh, I had a pretty bad case of stomach flu, you know. I had a sore butthole, you know, a sore throat from all the vomiting. Get your minds out of the gutter. And so I'm just joking around, you know, I'm just telling her, Oh man, you know, this last week with the flu here, I've been giving my sphincter a real workout. And in her innocent state, she, she, she just goes, oh, is, is that like a car part? And I'm just, I, I, and, and I sit there, the blank look at my face, and I'm like, um, no, no, baby, no, that's, uh, that's the muscle that controls your poop. And secretly I was thinking, how are you two years older than me? and became a great conversation piece for quite a while after that. So this next one we're going to go a few years back to the strange and mysterious times of 2014. So the girl that I was dating at the time, we were out at a bar in the middle of bump, quite literally bumfuck nowhere. We had another good friend of mine with me at the time too. And so we're having beers, having a good time, all that good stuff. And so I'm a few drinks in. You know, I have at least a couple uh, Coke and whiskeys in me and a few beers. So I'm feeling pretty good, you know. I'm feeling, you know, pretty tame, you know. Thinking I'm going to take a nice big old dump out of a helicopter. And so my girlfriend at the time offered me uh, a Xanax. Now, kids, if you're listening, please do not do what I did. You will regret it. So in my idiotic state, like I said, never claimed to be a genius here. I'm like, sure, why not? Let's do it. So I take the pill, and so we head on out, we go back to her place. My friend had to drive because I was in no shape to drive. And so we're having a good time, jaw jacking around, all that good stuff. And then suddenly it was tomorrow. And I woke up naked with dry blood on my hands. So I, so I get up, trying to figure out what's going on. You know, I find my woman, and she just goes, oh, you don't remember? And I'm like, Sorry, uh, remember what? It's, I don't remember anything from last night. And she's like, whoa, well, at about 3 a.m., you randomly got up and uh, went to my spare bedroom. And you were in there for quite some time, and we were trying to figure out what was going on, so we went in there, and you actually uh, went to the bathroom on all my manga books. So for good, I'd say five seconds. I had there with this blank look on my face, and I can't decide if I should sob and apologize uncontrollably, or just come damn near die laughing while apologizing absurdly. And so I'm just like, oh, I'm really sorry. But thankfully she was really cool about the whole thing and she's like, oh, no, don't worry. I just had your friend help me clean it up. Um, yeah, we really didn't know how to deal with that kind of situation, so, but no worries, we got it all cleaned up. So at least that one had a mildly happy ending. This last one here happened about, I'd say about two weeks back. I wasn't going to uh, mention this, but it just took such a bizarre turn that I just felt compelled that I had to uh, share with this one. So, at my local Walmart, there's a gentleman who's at least, I want to say in his mid-50s, who he is physically handicapped. Um, little backstory here, I used to work at Walmart a few years back. Um, that was a little decent, okay job, I guess. And so I, we jaw jacked every now and again, you know, we know each other for a few years here. And so I'm hanging out there and he goes, yeah, you know, if you want, we can hang out sometime, you know, shoot the bowl, have some coffee, drink some beers, you know, and I'm thinking, you know, he's a, he's a decent guy, you know, he's probably alone a lot, so I have no problem, you know, getting him some company, helping him out. But dear God, the twist that was going to come from this, I would never see coming. So, you know, we exchanged numbers and all that bullshit. You know, he comes over once, we have some coffee, we have some more guests over, and we're all having a good time jaw jacking. And so he leaves, and it's all over with. Um, 
And so a little more backstory here. Whenever I'm talking to this guy, he always mentions, hey, so yeah, how's Junior doing? And you know, I have no idea what he's talking about. So I'm like, oh, you know, he's doing great. All that good stuff. Yep. And so one day he decides to come on over. You know, I got to make some coffee. And I'm like, oh, you know, we'll shoot the shit for a while. Then he'll be on out of beyond his merry way. So he's here for about, I'd say, 10 minutes or so. At this point, I really got to pee really hardcore. So I'm like, oh, I'll be back in a sec. I got to go use the bathroom. And so as I'm walking away, he goes, oh, you want me to hold Junior for you? I just stop dead in my pace. I'm just like, what did you just say? And so in my awkward state, I'm just like, no, no, that's, uh, that's okay. Um, so I go to the bathroom, do my business and all that jazz. I'm just like, wow, that was really weird. But you know, whatever, he's probably a little awkward. So I'll just try to, uh, try to ignore it. So I walk outside, you know, we continue having my coffee, trying to pretend that what he just said was not said. And so, so he's like, so, hey, P squared, I gotta ask you a question here. I'm just like, oh, okay, what, what is that question? And he's like, you know, I don't mean to pry in your personal life, but uh, are you gay? I'm just like, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 no. No, no, I, I am not gay. Um, sorry? Question mark? He still goes, oh, okay, just, uh, just checking. And I wanted to ask so badly, are you gay? But I was kind of a walking vagina about it, so I decided not to. And wow, did he get pretty fucking direct after that. So, at this point, I'm thinking, okay, how can I get out of this? Then I clicked. Bam. Parents. My parents need my help with some random ass project over there. I'm just like, oh, fuck. Yeah, sorry. I have to go to my parents' house. Uh, they, uh, they left their vacuum cleaner running, so I gotta go help them out with all that jazz. Yep. And he's like, oh, oh, yeah, that's okay. And then he throws in there, you gonna give a junior a lot of attention tonight? Straight up? I'm just like, no, 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 please, 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 please don't do this, bud, please don't. And I, I awkwardly like, I'm just like, I'm just like, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yep. And so he gets up, and he's like, shakes my hand, and he's like, oh yeah, so you know, thanks for having me over, all that good stuff. And then he gets this really weird smile on his face, and then he reaches out towards my groin, and he's like, want me to give Junior a shake for you? At that point, I cover up my crotch, back away, and I'm like, no, no, that's, that's, that's okay. Bye. And then he's like, oh yeah, bye. So he, so he uh, goes downstairs, walks out the door. I go out, look out the window, make sure he leaves. Goes down, I go downstairs. I throw both my deadlocks and the handle. And as I'm walking up the steps, I'm just going, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. And that's how I found out that my acquaintance of all these years was a raging homosexual who really wanted to tongue punch my fart box. Yeah, he never did call me back after that, and I haven't seen him since, and maybe it's best that way. So on that happy note, I hope you all guys all enjoyed. Uh, if you want some more, you know, let me know. I got plenty more stories where these came from. Um, and if you want to share any stories on here too, you know, let me know. I'll be more than happy to maybe put them in the next video. I definitely plan on making some more of these. I thought they were pretty fun to make. Um, so hope you guys enjoy. Um, and sorry again about the whole, like, month between my uploads here. A lot of shit's going on in my personal life right now. And it's really hard to uh, get on to make videos. So thanks for checking it out, guys. And we will see you all later on. Peace.